What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am at this point, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go ahead and check out my other videos, of course. But hey, stay watching this one too. You know what I'm saying? So this video, and <laughs> this video is gonna be a pretty good video, in my opinion. You know, I feel like I feel I uh, bring a lot of controversy when it comes to the caliber videos. You know, like for example, 380 ACP, good caliber for self defense, 22 LR, things like that. This one isn't going to be as controversial. However, I do feel it does need to be put out there. All right. <clears throat> We're going to go with 45 ACP for this one. All right. Just so. Fucking weird it over there. Look, if it makes you feel better, I just took it out the 1911 mag. All right. So there's no, you know, and before you argue, oh, well, I thought you said mixing loads was stupid. I had to have them loaded like this purposely for that video. Whatever. Back to what I was saying, though. All right, 45 ACP is it a good caliber for self defense? I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of it. Uh, excuse me, the pros and cons of it, of course. You know, and of course, I'm gonna run it through the three situations: home defense, concealed carry, and uh, uh, SHTF. I'll give my final opinion. Of course, I'm gonna give my opinion on each situation, then give an overview of them, like I always do. All right, so let's get into this. Let's start with home defense. Do I believe the caliber itself is a good caliber for home defense? Yes. I actually especially believe 45 ACP is a good caliber for home defense. Um, and here's why. <clears throat> it's a pretty, you know, pretty, not like big, like compared to like rifle rounds or something like that. But for a pistol round, it's a pretty, you know, pretty chunky bullet, you know, pretty fat bullet. This thing is not moving at the, oh, I, I love you too, girl. Let me move on and record Damn, you ate all that already? Shit. All right, sorry about that. But it's a pretty chunky bullet. This thing is not moving as fast as, for example, a 9mm. You know, uh, so that definitely does have some level of effect on its, you know, not some level of effect, some level of, you know, difference on its effectiveness on a target. However, all right, the crazy thing is, this is what most people don't really understand, and this is why the age-old debate 9mm versus 45 is so fucking stupid to me. I have seen in multiple different instances, multiple, many, where ballistically speaking, they performed at or around the same. So it's not much of a difference for me. It really isn't. But one thing I do like about the 45 ACP caliber, as I mentioned before, that it's going so slow, you could actually, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> if you had a firearm that had a threaded barrel, and you were to sit there and say, forget it, I'm a cuck today. And go and, you know, fill out a tax stamp, go get a suppressor. These would be amazing under suppression for your hearing. Amazing. Amazing. Now, granted, that is not something you need for home defense. However, I will say this. As somebody who's heard gunshots with zero ear protection, some, you know, 10 feet away from me, some maybe like 30, 40, 50, hell, some even four or five feet away from me. I can tell you right now, my ears sometimes ring, all right? I can tell you this. I, I have, if I'm not mistaken, it's called tinnitus, where sometimes my ears just ring. It sucks. It's not, it's not the most fun. It's not like it doesn't truly affect my life like that, so I assume I don't have it too bad. I, I can assume there are people who have it worse than I do. However... This round under suppression is so quiet, it's amazing. Now, one thing I will say that I do not like, you know, about the 45 ACP caliber is that most of the guns chambered in this caliber tend to not have too great of a capacity. Now, I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not just talking about like 1911s, for example. I more so am referring to really any of them. You know, let's take a Glock 21, for example. That's a full-size 45. <sighs> That as a full size still only hurts, uh, hurt, still only holds 13 plus one in the head. So you see what I mean? That's not the best capacity. However, I wouldn't mind. That capacity would do me fine. Sure. That's, yeah, that would, yeah, 13 plus one, sure. You know, I do see uh, some that, you know, have less, but I also see some who have around that. So let's just go with that as the highest, right? We'll say 13. 13 rounds of 45, I would be perfectly fine with. I would be perfectly fine with that. Wouldn't be an issue. <clears throat> Hell, then if they didn't exist, I'd have a suppressor on it too. Yup, hearing 
not a problem. Messing up my ears? <laughs> no sorry. Uh, I love you too, girl. You got to back up. So as I was saying, uh, let's move on from home defense. I have shown that it would be very helpful to protect your hearing. Uh, as I mentioned before, these do ballistically perform at or around the same as nine millimeter, which means I wouldn't have any doubt that these would, you know, stop somebody if needing to. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that about covers it for home defense specifically. Let's move on to concealed carry. Now, one thing I'm not a big fan of, you know, about the 45 caliber is concealed carrying. Once again, because you got to remember with how big this cartridge is, like, you know, I'm going to take my mill out of my G2C mag right here. This is a 9 by 19 all right? Also known as 9 millimeter Luger, whatever. This is 45 ACP. A very big difference in size, height, everything. And, it, you know, there is, a, there is a difference. That is just the truth of the matter. Now, with that difference being the case, that means a magazine like this, you know, this is my standard 12-round G2C mag, right, can hold 12 in here of 9mm. However, a and that's for a very, very, very small 9mm. The G2C is pretty small for a 9mm. However, this capacity is just one round away from being the capacity of a full size 45. You see what I mean? So I'm not the biggest fan of it for concealed carry strictly due to the fact that the capacity will be limited. That is plain and simple. The capacity will be limited, not due to really the, you know, not really due to any brand or model's fault or anything like that. It's just essentially this is a bigger cartridge. So it will take up more space. Uh, however, do I feel that the caliber itself would, you know, would have trouble stopping somebody in a concealed carry situation? No, I do not believe that at all. That, girl, you got to go somewhere. God damn, you've been rude as hell in this video. I love you, but go. All right, so do I believe the caliber would have an issue? <laughs> Jesus, this dog. Would the caliber have an issue? Stop. Sorry about that, everyone. I just, I... What happened was that while I was in the middle of recording that video, I got a call from my older brother. I figured to answer it, hey, might be important. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so back to what I was getting at. We're not going to sit here and have any more chit chat. Back to it. What I believe that 45 ACP caliber would have somebody, uh, excuse me, would have a problem stopping somebody in a concealed carry situation? No, I don't believe it would have an issue stopping somebody in a home defense situation either. So that wouldn't make sense. It's not like you're going to be dealing with you know, two different, you know, breeds of human. That's not how that works. So yes, I do believe that the caliber itself would be effective. However, unfortunately, the capacity for the firearms that carry the caliber to be a concealable size isn't going to be the greatest. The capacity just won't be. That is the truth. Uh, I understand not a lot of people are going to like that. I understand a lot of people take ride 45. I get it. It's fine. It's fine. Look, we all got a caliber that we like. It's fine. But I am just spitting the truth here. Now, for an SHTF situation, this one might shock you guys. I would say yes. I would say yes. Actually, no, let me do a quick overview as I just realized I haven't done an overview for the first two. So, home defense, yes. Actually, I believe I did one for home defense. Home defense, yes. Why? As long as you have a full size 45, the capacity should be around 13. So, that should be fine for capacity. And not to mention, you should be, you know, as long as you're able to get a light on it as well. But with 45, if you have a threaded barrel, it is very much so suppressor friendly. That would help your ears. So yes, for home defense, it would be helpful. For concealed carry, the caliber wouldn't have an issue stopping somebody. However, I wouldn't carry it at strictly for the capacity reasons. SHTF. Shockingly, this one is going to surprise you guys. Yes, yes, I would. Um, and here's why. So they are. There are. Real, really, the most popular handgun caliber in the world is 9x19 or 9mm Luger. That is just the truth. However, for example, let's take here in America. 45 ACP is a pretty popular caliber here in America. That is the truth. So if an SHTF happens and all you have is a 45, you probably will be able to find yourself some ammo. That's not going to be too hard for you. That's not going to be as hard as... For example, you know, 44 Magnum or, you know, things like that. It's not going to be as hard at all. 
So that would definitely be helpful. Not to mention, once again, the fact that it would be, you know, suppressor friendly, basically, you know, is also helpful for an SHTF situation in the sense of what if you do have to, you know, uh, you know what, fuck it, just because I can. Let's, let's talk Walking Dead, for example, right? If you notice, they didn't kill all the zombies with guns. Why? They use knives. Well, the main reason why was because of the fact that it is quieter which meant that there was less likely a chance of drawing more zombies to them, or as they called them, walkers. But regardless, the entire point is, is that it might be effective in an SHTF situation if you need to take something down silently, or not silently, but quietly. You know what I mean? That's the best way to explain it. Silently is just no sound. Quietly is from to... See what I mean? <laughs> Much quieter, right? Sorry for y'all who had to hear that, by the way. So, very shockingly, yes, I would pick 45 for an SHTF. Um, if it's all you have, realistically, you don't have too much to complain about. Um, I wouldn't pick it as my number one SHTF. However, if I had it, I wouldn't be complaining. You, you see what I mean? That is just the truth of the matter. Uh, it's effective at stopping people, of course, you know. Uh, it's just the capacity really isn't where I'd like it to be, but it isn't bad. It's a pretty even grounded capacity, I guess you could say. Now, one final overview, home defense. Yes, concealed carry. No, SHTF. Yes. Two out of three. Not bad, right? All right, something I haven't said yet in this video. I'm sure y'all have been waiting for this. Make sure to like comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. When you're hitting all, say, fuck it. I like nine mil. I like 40. I like 45. I got guns in every caliber. I'm going to go check out the podcast channel. I'm going to go check out Adam's channel, Centerfire Podcast. Each episode is damn well near at least an hour long. Y'all got content for forever on that motherfucker. All right. Adam's channel. Videos on videos. Y'all got content. My channel. Videos on videos. Check them all out. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and tag both the profiles. Uh, yeah. No, excuse me. Uh, the YouTube channels. I don't know why my, my brain said just profile there. But, I'll, of course, tag both of those channels in the description below. Y'all stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous, and have a good one. Peace.